So, but I got a coworker and we was chopping it up. He's Hispanic, and his name is Lavorio. And so I like you know, typically a Spanish name translates to something in English. Like my name, my name is Gerald, but in Spanish it's Geraldo. Mm -hmm. So be like, so I've always I'm always curious. Like you know, well, what does your name mean? And he started la he started laughing. I'm like, bro, why are you laughing? He was like, because if I tell you, you're not going to believe me. I'm like, no, nah, I believe you. He said, it mean Leroy. And I'm like, bro, your <laughs> name is the craziest <laughs> shit I've ever heard, bro. I'm like, bro, your name is blacker than mine, bro. I'm like, what? Leroy? I'm like, bro. I'm never, I, I ever since then, I only, I only call him Leroy. Bro, I've been shouting Leroy across the yard. I'm like, hey, Leroy. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Real Talk, the Realist Podcast. If you are here, you are a part of the squadron. So please do us this favor. If you have any questions, any topics you want to cover, drop a comment or email in, and the best one we will cover on the next podcast. Come on. Because we got one this podcast, and it's, it's a pretty lit question. I like it a lot. Litty. So... Like I said, drop that comment, email in, best comment, best email, wins next podcast. Uh, but yeah, you already know what time it is, man. We got that boy, J. Delgado, a.k.a. Mr. Moneybags, is back. Slight clap, slight clap. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. You know, he be doing his thing, man. Cali Banks, Al Banga in the house. What's up, Cali? I'm here. Alonzo Bike. I'm here. And you know, it's the 420 specialist. Stacks. Stony Starks in the building, baby. It's cracking. It's happening. It's like that. It's like that. It's like that. It's like that. Episode 30. Hey. <laughs> Come on, baby. You see the jersey? <laughs> You see what time it is? Show them, Al. Episode 30, man. Come on, now. You know what I mean? Shout okay. out to Warriors. And you can't have episode 30 without the big dog. Come on, man. Let me hear them barks. No, Bryce is in the building, babe. What's happening, y'all? That <laughs> was good. Slight clap. Oh man, it's been a it's been a, a rough week, I'll say that, because I am back at work and it is not ideal, but it's fine. It hasn't been that bad. Everybody else cool? What's going on? You know, just making it through. You yeah, know what I mean? It'd be like that. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's been actually a nice week, bro. It's been nice outside. The weather been good. Hot. That's true. Hot. It has been good weather. Yeah, bro. The weather been Something else this year This is like the first real week We got some nice weather man Go outside Okay It was a little too hot for my liking Actually but, you, you know, know what I did know that. I did say that I'm like the weather has been really nice actually, Man So I can't, I can't complain about that Um Let me see Anything else Before we get into this news of the week Uh Shout out to the You know South Carolina game Game Blams Oh okay, because they got a wild ass name. <laughs> but they won. They won the the, 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 the women's national championship. What's, what, what's the mascot name? The Game Blams. That's the Game Blams. <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy name. What is it? What is it? South Carolina. Yeah. What What is the actual mascot? It's a rooster. But you know, oh, he be blaming shit though, because yeah. the rooster the, he walk into that hen house. <laughs> 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 What? That makes sense. I just co-signed on that. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I just co-signed that. Hey, man. It's episode 30. We coming in hot. Come on, man. That one. You call me. You That's call me. funny. That is so funny. Oh, man. Oh, man, boy. All right. All right. Let's get into this news of the week before we start wilding That's out. hilarious. <laughs> so, we all have been following... The Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Drake beef. And it seems to have spiraled into Drake beefing with pretty much everybody. Not only that, we are dealing with the age of 
AI, artificial intelligence. Oh, uh, man. It has been taking the internet by storm from scanning, scanning, scamming people <laughs> to all type of shit. People use AI to make pictures, posters, you name it, thumbnails. But the fact that it has made its way into music to the point where motherfuckers don't know if this is an AI song or a real song is crazy. So let's just let's just start there. At least we know the Drake song seems to be official. And yeah, that's I, not think, AI. I believe the Drake song is official. At least official. we know that. As as of right now, I think only thing in question is the Ken, the Kendrick Lamar song. No, nah, I thought somebody came out. I sent that, but it's, it's just, two of them though. So it's one that is AI for sure. Yeah. And it's one that they people that they say that Kendrick said is AI because everybody didn't like it. I've actually and, heard a third one too that was And that's another massacre. thing too though. <laughs> it was it's nasty. Like, if your song weak, you could be like, well, that was AI. I, I yeah. didn't do that. It's a good back door. But Jose, you said you, you heard a third mm-hmm. one that was fire? Man, I heard a third one that was fire. I heard one that was cold too. That was though. nasty. And I'm like, man. I'm like, and then Kendrick it came out in the comments like confirmed this. it was AI. And I'm like, all right. But it, it, man, it was one of them ones. It was something about him having sex with Diddy. It was like it was man. I'm okay. sitting there like man, Kendrick doing this. Oh, yeah, he's doing it's, hard exactly. right now. I heard some shit like that too, bro. I'm like Kendrick don't even talk. This can't be Kendrick, yeah. bro, because yeah. he was going crazy, bro. He said he said something about this nigga Drake getting pissed on, and it was a cold that actually ass. happened though. It was yeah. it, it actually happened, but I don't see Kendrick like. Okay, I got you. You feel the I'm way still he said very it, confused by how that happened. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's it's a it's very known. Well, we in the know industry. somebody who, who. Oh yeah, we do know somebody <laughs> that um, it happened to them, but they did it. They did it to somebody. They did, and you know this person. You know, I think he watches too. For sure, no, he's watching this probably, and he know exactly <laughs> that we talking about him because he definitely be watching the pod. <laughs> But you was wildin' that day, bro. You, you was you had, wildin'. You dirty, had, dirty you had, man. You had too many drinks at the movie theaters, and you just... Oh, okay. You specialize yeah. in yeah. wet Shout work. Out. Shout out. Shout out, my boy. Shout out. Oh, I can't wait to find out who this was. Yeah, no, oh, he man. was cutting up. Um, so but nothing it, happened from that. It just He just did it. It just happened. And the person that he urinated on didn't... No, it was no fault. I think it's just the audacity, because you wasn't just like... wasn't no fault. Yeah, I would have been going to jail. have been like, shots was fired in the yeah. movie theater. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, this was the, yeah, it was yeah. nothing happened. But um, <laughs> as far as the AI thing, uh, how we are, we are hundred percent sure that that was all AI for sure, right? No. I mean that's what that's what they I'm make not. it. We're not sure, oh. but that's what that's what they're claiming though. And then like you said, the first one sounded like it was it was okay. And then of course, and everybody was like, it's mid, it's mid. And then it was like, you know, it's AI. And it's like, all right. So how do we feel about the Drake this? I thought I mean, it was, I thought this. I liked it. I liked it. He I liked called it them niggas pip squeaks. And when he told Metro to sit down and make some, shut your make whole some ass drums. up, make some drums, <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> I think that was, that was probably the most. I didn't see so many like reposts of people. It was a mariachi <laughs> band saying that. <laughs> they Somebody hired a mariachi band to say that, bro. Wow. They, those exact words and played music behind it. <laughs> so, I mean, that was probably one of the most viral I thought that was Drake, this. right? Yeah, I thought Drake hired a drum, Drake hired uh, the drum line. Band. That's yeah. who did it? Yeah, that's who did it, Drake. And, he, and he was outside of, uh, they was outside of Magic City? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah in, yeah. in Atlanta, the strip club. So, this is what I like. First of all, <laughs> We are in the realm of strictly beef. 3D None chocolate. of these rappers are going to come after each other physically. And the fact that Drake is having the absolute most fun with it, as far as getting a mariachi band to do this in Atlanta, is crazy. Like, that's hilarious. That's bro. crazy. That's crazy. That's hilarious. That's, that reminds me of him playing back to back on the floor above Meek Mill in the hotel. Like, that, that was funny as fuck. But, I don't know if that was real. You know, you know what's funny, though? Bruh, if you look at Rick Ross social media, like, and ain't nobody gonna say this because everybody loves Drake so much and everybody against Rick Ross, but Rick Ross is hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, yeah, he's white really boy. <laughs> yeah. White boy. Rick Ross don't, be hey, me don't, crying. Don't. Rick Ross is funny, but he. I can't take Rick Ross serious. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I can't either. Niggas, I can't, yeah. niggas yeah. can't never take Rick Ross serious, but this nigga. I think, no, he, but I think 50 Cent did that. I think for some reason 50 Cent. Got me feeling a type of way about Rick Ross. No, no, I just Rick Ross. My whole thing is when you try to be gangster and you not gangster, you lose me. 
I'm you lose me. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't care how you try to flavor it up. You lose me because if some real gangster shit pop off, you going to fold back and hope them people behind you going to step up and you know what I'm saying, handle Nah, bro, fuck that. I'm and you know, oh, it's because I got the money. I'm the CEO. Why would I get involved? You wouldn't get involved even if you wasn't the CEO. Yeah. You'd be telling. He did it. Because he, but he, he re- dropped the diss and that, that was... It was, it was, it was But like, like he's saying, it was, like, oh, like that, besides the rapping, bro, mm-hmm. he calling this nigga BBL Drizzy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's funny. That's, that's, I agree with funny. you. This shit is like, every time he say white boy. <laughs> But did you see you see Drake uh post snapshots of him DMing uh Rick Ross t- like pretty much talking shit? It, it was the one when he was he DM'd it when he showed the text message between him and his, his mom, mom and he was like he performing that pro <laughs> Did you see did you see, <laughs> They the, the trolling is crazy. Yeah. Did you see when he posted this nigga Drake saying the N words? he said the E the hard R and the hard R is a little hard, my guy. He was like, he was hard. like he's that nigger. <laughs> like what, what Drake? <laughs> like why would you say why would you say it like that, bro? Like Oh my god. See, I see <laughs> like when Rick Ross was going against DJ Envy, I was I was going for Rick Ross because it's like both oh, yeah, these he was two, killing both him. these yeah. two clowns, these yeah. non gangs, I, I can <laughs> fuck with it. And, yeah. and he was strictly going on like money and yeah. funny shit. But yeah. see, he actually trying to put this persona off like first off, everybody know Drake ain't gangster, so mm-hmm. That that it's like it's like Birdman pulling up on Charlemagne like I ain't gangster like why you ain't why you ain't get gangster on him I'm, yeah. I'm pulling up on you though right, right. like which come was, like come on bro another hilarious moment <laughs> right but, but did you did so you hear the like, interesting did you hear the interesting take as far as like uh, the deal that Drake signed did you hear about that with the UMG Universal uh, Music Group let's hear it it's um. Uh, he, oh man, it might have been like within the last year or two. He signed like a four hundred dollar mega deal with them. That's supposed to have been dollars. like yeah, four hundred million dollar deal with uh, UMG. That's supposed to have been groundbreaking just because of like the specifics of the actual contract that they didn't disclose. But apparently, one of the speculations is that he has part ownership in this company, and this particular company, UMG, owns all of the labels that all of these um, all of these artists that are dissing him they're signed to. So essentially, if he does own have part ownership of that, he's getting paid for these artists dissing him. It's, it's crazy. Like that's that's like a speculation that Joe Budden um, created a couple of days ago on his on his pod, man. That yeah, and you know, it's funny it makes about sense, this, it, which can make sense yeah. for the reason why Drake got his chest puffed out so much. Right, you know what I'm saying? Because he's trying to reel everybody in. And it's like, yeah. what's, what's that doing? Like Rick Ross got this shit. On Apple Music, on streaming service. So as long as we stream it, right? Who who getting paid from that? Allegedly, right. allegedly, That's that would be I mean. crazy. Like Drake That's a crazy take. He playing 4D chess, bro. <laughs> he on a different level. If he doing that, then he's on a different level. I Man. like it because it's still. I don't feel like it's personal. It's just that he has so many. It's like almost he prepared for this ahead of time. But right. he told he told Rick Ross, your whole lot is four hundred thousand square feet. <laughs> My house is four hundred thousand square feet. Right. He <laughs> said we are not the same. And then he said, <laughs> said what did he say? He said you like in a starter pack for content creators <laughs> or something like that. Hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> that nigga said he damn near pushing fifty. I don't know why he getting into this. <laughs> like, damn, bro. <laughs> Man, I heard the weekend is involved in this. Yeah. Hey, so yeah. supposedly when Drake's diss got leaked, the weekend posted on his story like a laughing meme. And then remember he on the song and he said how they how they can how can they talk shit and they got leaks and they can't. And so everybody is speculating and wondering like, did you have something like did you have something to do with this and like. Yeah, and then niggas is just putting out more reference tracks. So, you know, everybody, the big thing is Drake don't be writing his own raps and shit. Oh, so man. So, niggas put out a Lil Yachty reference that, that uh, basically, <sighs> so like, Lil Yachty gave Drake a song and, like, gave him a reference track. And then I Drake, heard about that. And Rick yeah. Ross was the one that, that supposedly, um, like, leaked that and pretty much was like, uh, I forgot what song he was he was uh, playing in the background. He was like, guess who wrote this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then he that. posted, like, another one later on that showed that Yachty, like, be... <laughs> And like Lil you said, Yachty? the reference track, man. Well, you, you know they like Yachty called Drake his best friend. Yeah, no, no, I get that, but Yachty, that's crazy. But apparently, Yachty got a lot of uh, 
a lot of song credits. I don't fuck with none of his songs. No, but uh, him as a writer, he, he, has, he has a lot of, a lot of song you, credits. I, 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 know, I, don't, face. I don't mess with you. I don't either. <laughs> no, yeah. but... I can't name you one right now. I can't name you one, but I, it's not one that I, I, I've, I listen to at all. Either or. I, I fuck with a couple of his shit on that QC album when they had the collab album. Other than that, yeah. He's like one of those guys that seem like he kind of almost... Play around oh, and almost like he kind of want to do stuff for like the the. the I, I respect the like, like same mm-hmm. thing like how like, I'm not, I just say this to say this like Jay Z and Nick Cannon. I don't really like <laughs> mess with. Oh, let me let me land, bro. Let, let, me land. Land. let me land. You said Jay. Let me <laughs> land. Uh, let me okay, land. Bad, let bad. me go land. For it, go for it. So Jay like Jay Z and Nick Cannon. I really don't like they. For for one, Nick Cannon has no music I like, and Jay Z he has a couple of songs, maybe one album I like, but as a mogul, can't mm-hmm. nobody fuck with them. Okay, that's how I consider it. That's why. I, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't really fuck with Yachty's music, but him as a mogul, I can't. I can't take that away from him. He's hella business smart. Like yeah, okay, that's that's I, that's what I, I was agree. trying to say. Why you funny man over here laughing all in my <laughs> ear and shit. It's hilarious yeah. how you started off Jay Z and Nick Cannon. Because Jay Z be- and Nick Cannon <laughs> mentioned in the same sentence. Is it, but it wasn't. Wild. But it, it wasn't. It, it wasn't <laughs> no, in comparison. Yeah, like, like, where he's going with this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, let's hear him out. Guys, let's hear him out. You um, chance, you probably just give Jay a few. No, no, classics. I've listened. I've listened to. All the Jay Z albums, like I said, he has one or two albums that I fuck with, like American Gangster and the Blueprint. Okay, and then he has a couple of songs from other albums that I like. Okay, but I don't really like if you if I jump if I you get in my car, the last thing you hear me put on is some Jay Z. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, almost like the era you came up into. I'm not. That's why I'm not. I, I'm not mad at what you're saying. It makes sense. Like I get it. You know, what I mean, you you respect him, but it's like yeah. I don't got a whole bunch of Jay Z in my, yeah, my that, playlist. That's, so all, I, that's all I meant by that. Yeah. But yeah. like, I'm saying, I'm saying. so with, same thing. Like with Yachty, I don't have. I can't tell you. I don't know none of his discography like that. Right. But as a mogul, I can tell you a lot of the business deals and shit that he's put his hand in and helped push yeah, he forward. Got some, he got he's some. hella smart. Well, him, his mom is hella smart too, and he said his mom wasn't playing. She was like, "Nah, if you're gonna do this music stuff, like." You oh, gotta he's a, really he's a smart do. Kid, it. He's hella he, smart. He's not just doing music. He's doing like podcasts. He's just in clothes mm-hmm. and all type yeah. of shit. And a lot of writing behind the scenes too. That a lot of artists yeah, do that. Apparently, for yeah, sure. He makes some good so, money. So I mean, doing does that. that really discredit Drake? Any? Because he has. Because I mean, ain't nobody discrediting Beyonce. I don't really trip off the ghost writing thing. Like unless I like unless it's like right in my face. So like, say if he did a diss song and there's a reference track for that diss song, it's a problem. But as long as it's not like nah, if, you, if it's a diss, face. I don't think you should have a ghostwriter for a diss. And no, I'm for sure, I'm just saying. But if if the reference is not there, I'm not looking at it because I I've definitely heard some reference songs for this nigga. I'm like, oh damn, that's weak. I think but, the reference tracks with the rapping is the is the is the part that's like you get ghostwriting for your rapping because hip hop is more personal. Mm-hmm, so yeah. if it's like you 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 getting a ghostwriter for some. For 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 hip hop, it's kind of like okay, you know what I mean. But for for the type of songs he make, the singing and stuff like that, it makes sense to have a lot of writers so you can get the right, you know what I mean, the mm-hmm. right the right product out there. I get that part, but when it comes to like getting ghost writers for hip hop verses, it's like okay, all right, yeah, I, can, I, agree I don't believe that. it. I don't really like the whole like r- like you getting whole rap songs, nigga, where niggas is rapping your verse and then you just rapping about your it. life. Yeah, like, like I don't like I don't agree with that. Like with Beyonce. The first Quinn Miller, yeah, oh, Quinn yeah, Miller, Quinn yeah, Miller, yeah, because yeah. yeah, that, that that was the only time that I heard a, a reference track for him that was legit. Didn't they try to say Joyner Lucas was writing for Drake too? I haven't heard any <laughs> reference tracks. I haven't heard a, a little Yachty reference track unless, I mean, did Rick Ross play the reference track or he played the actual he Drake song? He, he played the reference track. The, the, well, he played the Yachty reference track. Yeah, I okay, I missed it. that. I, I missed that on one. Twitter. All right, well, yeah. See, I don't really get down with that. But like I said, as far as when it comes to like making the beef songs, I don't think there was a reference track for back to back, and I don't think there was a reference track for what he did against against him versus everybody. I mean, yeah, we don't know. We don't Every, know, but everything I, is speculation. And you could have had the writer in the I'm studio just, with you. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if you've done it once, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so what if what if you do it like that? Because Chris Brown does that. Yeah, singing is different. Yeah, it's, singing, it's a lot yeah. of it's a lot of singers yeah. who have. No, no, no. He said he's like he said even when it comes to his raps, he said because he don't rap all the time. Yeah, that's fine. So he said sure what he does that. is he said he'll bring everybody that. 
he like that he works with that mm -hmm. are right for him or like you know help him write he'll bring everybody in the studio and be like alright let's see you come up with the hardest that verse. makes sense but when you're an actual rapper I'm just asking I'm just wondering it's and also what you're talking about too you think about uh, girls in the club and dancing and stuff like mm -hmm. that you know, you know it's fine even if you rapping and stuff like that it's whatever I mean and that's also how like singing started off like Motown and shit they used to have this like different right. bands sing the same song like Thirty times, mm -hmm. right, you feel right. me? That's just, that's just the uh, that's part of the business. Of singing. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. definitely part rapping, of the business too. You feel me? You rapping about your own personal life, yeah. but you got another nigga writing it. Like, but it's then that's how. But me. then that's what. I, that's why I could never get into those freestyle battles because it's not really freestyle; it's written. It depends on who, which. No, depends. if you, any of the ones you talk, you watch or on YouTube right now, that shit is fucking written. It, it it is written and prepared, but sometimes what they do is they'll mix in at the beginning like a um like a uh, a response to something they said, and it'll be like four bars, and then they'll throw in whatever they wrote to kind of blend yeah, so it I in. Watch, yeah. I watch some like you know the battles or whatever, like you said, like they will say something. Say I, I don't know what you about to say, right? You say something, I'm like, okay, I got you, and I reply to what you just said. I didn't have that prepared. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I might have had some bars prepared, but now I'm about okay. To so out of out of sixteen, your first. Two to four bars might be freestyle, yeah. but the rest of the it's a couple niggas. The rest is you can, they do that a lot. They do that you a lot. For sure, tell like Juice World that nigga was for sure off the top, Damn. and a couple other niggas too. I when can't Cassidy know. went against Freeway, I feel like that was off the top of the dome. <laughs> that was a massacre. Yeah, that was that crazy. was that's crazy. legendary. Yeah, I mean, that's like legendary. that was a that's a good one I can go to where you yeah. can tell how authentic that was. Like niggas did not. Prepare for that <laughs> He just yeah. said some shit That was flawless yeah. um, Last final thoughts on Drake um, Like you said last week uh, Who do you feel is up right now We gonna take J. Cole out of the conversation Who, So who we talking about Just we, Drake and Drake, Kendrick everybody? Drake, Rick Ross and Kendrick Those are the only Drake, people Rick that Ross have oh, legit. It, It's 110 uh, one, <clears throat> Drake, Kendrick, Ross I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take away that win from Cole for him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not missing the Cole. We talking about pure Cole. rapping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, one, one, okay. no. Uh, I like it. Uh, so, 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 you saying they tied then? I'm Drake saying and Kendrick. Drake, Drake and got, Kendrick. Drake got Please. one. Drake got his because of Rick Ross. I'm gonna Kendrick go. got his because of Cole. Ross ain't he? I'm sorry, I don't I'm think gonna he go ahead and put Drake up uh, on both. On both, yeah. I'm more stacks. I'm gonna go one one zero. I like because I because to this to still to this day, I'm flipping through Instagram and TikTok, and that Kendrick song is going crazy. And it's not like I said, it's not the whole song. It's just his verse that people are constantly making videos to. I think uh, I'm gonna go Drake. Drake's up right now. I, I like Rick, Rick the Rick Ross for the entertainment fact Me too. factor of it. You know what I'm saying? But I think just overall. Even with the speculation part that I'm saying, man, if that's if that's true, man, he he's up ten nothing right now. He, he's not losing that, you know what I'm saying? But you know the Kendrick thing, it's like you taking so long to respond to this. It's like all right, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, he the one who kind of sparked it. Yeah, I mean, I I, I, will, I will give him some cushion room because he was the one that set it off. But I'll give him, you know, I give him, I give him to the to the end of this week. But response. It you took Drake only, a few days, I guess. It yeah. only go so long, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, it gotta be like, like, cause you know, Ether came out months after Drake Jay Z this, nah, and it, it, he dropped the Ether though. Yeah, and it's like if it's like Ether, then all right, Kendrick, yeah. like you can take as much time as you want. It's not there. gonna. I mean, okay, yeah, I, I know yeah. what you're saying. <laughs> I know. Yeah, okay, I agree with you. Never mind, I agree with you, hundred percent. But I. Ether was way too cold. It was cold, but if Kendrick come out with some shit, yeah, no, I'm excited because like I said, with some that, venom. Yeah, if he gets yeah. he get another Metro Booming, say you know, what I'm yeah, saying they collab or something like that. But and that you know Metro Booming probably can't stand this nigga Drake yeah, right, right now, so yeah. he probably about to throw this nigga. Yeah, yeah like oh, get, go get go this get boy. this. Yeah. Nigga, <laughs> he do a song with uh, J Rock or something that'd be tight. <laughs> um, all right, let's go ahead before we get into the nitty gritty. Let's get off. Let's get this. Fallout Final thoughts out the way Me and Stax Was both able to finish the series Eight episodes About an hour long I, I didn't finish it off. You yeah, and Al I seen him But I didn't I didn't really even I didn't, I didn't like the first episode 
That's crazy. The first episode was the best episode. The best episode. That was the best episode. Oh, yeah. No, no, I mean it wasn't the best, but it, it for <coughs> basically for it to first, kick off. Yeah, that was, it was that was pretty out there. Cool. You know what it is, bro? I think I don't like TV shows. You said that. Yeah, I yeah. just don't like. I don't like how many genres they gotta fit into it. You feel me? Because they gotta make it serious. It gotta be funny moments. All the shit. I think I like when I go to a movie. I like to know the genre and know what to expect. You feel me? But when I watch TV shows, and then also I don't like the continuation of shit. Like you already know how I feel about movies that conti- that, that to be continued. I don't like that shit. I like yeah. to be done with it. You feel me? And get. And but you like Game of Thrones? Did you? I mean, I like Game of Thrones, <laughs> but that, yeah, it's certain TV that's shows. That's the I do most. Like. That's the most open ended fucking show I've ever watched in my <laughs> life. That shit is crazy. Yeah. But I didn't like how it ended. I mean, even from season to season, it's, oh, it's always like a, de- a decent little cliffhanger to <laughs> keep you, you know, coming back. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't see Game of Thrones like that. I seen it but after it came out, and I just I got you. It, you I got you. Me? I got you. Like, I don't like. I just, I can't. Certain shit, I just can't fuck with. <laughs> no, I get I it you. with the with the with the show thing. Sometimes yeah. I feel like when I watch a series, I'm like, man, this could have been a really good movie. Cause you feel like certain things they got to stretch it out, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then sometimes when you get to the conclusion of who the killer was or what happened, they have that extra episode that explains certain things. And I'm like, okay, I don't really need to be watching this last episode. So that's how I feel sometimes. That's why it's hard for me to get with Siri sometimes. But I, I just can't. I just yeah, I, it's just not my thing. Like that's the that's the only thing I got about what, like anime, like the filler episodes, bro. I hate them, bro. I hate. How some animes be having like whole season, and you know, but no one the fillers. But depending on the anime, the filler like it it, it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the same thing with the TV show too, though. Depending on the TV show, nah, like 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 like, they like Naruto. The filler in Naruto has a lot to do with character development, but like the filler episodes in One Piece has nothing to do with the regular story. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying it's like the One Piece ones, I don't watch them filler episodes. The Naruto ones, I watched them because it has something to do with character development. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying I just, I don't know, maybe it just depends. That's a good, that's a good one. That's the only reason why I said, I, I, yeah, I just think it depends because if it ain't depend. got nothing to do with the story, I'm for sure not. It do depend. Not watching it. But then, yeah, like some of that shit, I can't bear. I just be like, bro, this is All ridiculous, right. bro. Man. Like, right. what are we, like, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this out the way. We'll, we'll be quick. No spoilers, obviously. For some, I know people are gonna still be checking this out because it's kind of going viral right now. But um, there's like a, a, a image out on like on social media where it has all the video game adaption TV shows. You got like The Last of Us, Halo, Fallout, mm-hmm. uh, Cyberpunk. I forget the other one. Um, I think it's, it might be no. I forget what the other one is, but. Each picture under it has like you know the the picture is of a horse, and of the above the picture it has different all the different TV shows. So like the the picture looked fire like a real a real ass horse, but when you get to Halo, it turned into like a like a like a kid drawing it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So it's like, but like Fallout has made it to the you know is is recognized as this shit was fire. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't play the game. You said you played the game before, but yeah, you didn't. I, I you didn't, didn't finish yeah. it though. No. Yeah. Um, but I think, as an average, as a whole, I think it's looked at as a, a good series. And I can go ahead and say that I enjoy the hell out of it. Um, I think I might even like the second half more than the first half because of how they lead you into this mystery about how. Everything went down. Um, Walter Goggins. I think his name is Walter Goggins. Let me make it up. But the dude that played the ghoul, that his story alone is crazy. It's hella clean. That's that's the dude that you see in the beginning of the episode, the first episode, the cowboy dude. Mm. He has a huge part in here. Um, Wait, he's still alive? Yes. So he, like I said, he's a ghoul. And when you're a ghoul, <laughs> it thinks so that radiation affects you differently. You know what I'm saying? I guess this is a thing in the game. You feel me? Like you can you can become a ghoul in the game, and this and you might your injury is not the same as everybody else's. You might have a hill a hill factor. You know what I'm saying? But you just got to do different things. And there there is a character that they show you that goes through that from the jump, so you kind of can see it 
how that happened. He's like, oh shit, he got, he's turning into a ghoul. So I'll say this: this show is filled with action, comedy, suspense, and drama, and I feel like they are able to mix it very well because the shit was hilarious. But at the same time, you had to pull your laugh back because you didn't know when something was about to go down. Like that shit was like nobody's safe, and that and that probably made me like it that much more that somebody can get a limb cut off or anything <laughs> can happen at any moment. It was anybody, bro. It don't matter. Main character, you. It's you know not. What it's not even just the violence. Just like they could be doing a serious ritual, <laughs> yeah. like, and then you like, what the fuck. Yeah, it, it just it was, <laughs> but at the same time, it's doing this thing where it's leading you to a, a, a decent reveal about you know how why the world is like why it is why why this fallout happened why all these nukes went off and characters that seem cool are actually diabolical. Like, <laughs> oh shit! This is like you know what I'm saying somebody that you. Think you know that that they they come off really good, you know what I'm saying. But when you see what they're doing behind closed doors, it's crazy, bro. Yeah, I, I can see that for sure from the first episode. Like I can see like you know they the I don't want to give too nothing away, but I can see you know somebody who you thought may have been a good person, and then why they get rolled on. You feel me, like. Why somebody yeah. come back and roll them? Oh yeah, I wouldn't even. Yeah, it, but, well, there's that, but yeah. there's certain people that are have minuscule roles, but at the same time play a big part on why things went down. Like, oh shit! Like, you just, you feel me? You just do you. You are you're a good person, but at the same time, behind closed doors, you are the reason why this bomb hit over here. Basically, like, damn, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. um. And all the characters did a fantastic job. It wasn't one actor or one certain uh, character that I felt like that was misplaced or didn't do a good job. Uh, it was fairly enjoyable. And the main character, um, Lucy, the girl leading the shit, like I said, it wasn't like we said We said in our first review that she was um, she was pretty good at everything, but at the same time, that doesn't mean she's invincible. So... That made the show go It gave it even more legs Like damn Like now I know that you can be hurt So now I'm like Okay hold on I'm worried now You know what I'm saying Like oh shit I don't know what's about to happen I don't know what's gonna happen And that that's what To me What makes the show That much better Is when you don't Know There's not A sense of security For the main characters It can go any which way And I felt like For their first season And how they ended it Was like Chef's kiss, like it, it. I'm, I'm willing to wait, but I'm glad that they dropped all eight episodes instead of having to go week by week. These are one of the the series that I would prefer to watch straight up all eight episodes instead of having to wait week by week because it was that good leading to the next episode. I'm like, I gotta see what's happening next because this shit is is amping up. Yeah. So I think I might have liked it less having to wait week by week, but the fact that it was back to back to back, I was able to grasp the humor and the world building a lot better that way. It worked perfectly for me. Sax. Uh yeah, I liked it. Um I thought at, after a certain point when I started seeing some of the jokes, I thought it was going to get kind of corny cuz I thought they was going to overdo it, but they they pulled back. Facts. They pulled Facts. back. I was like, "All right, now we get into the meat and potatoes." Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was cool overall. I'm, I'm like you said, I'm down to see how the next season goes because I'm kind of interested to see. Yeah, they, know, they're guaranteed for a season. What's, two. You know what I'm saying? What's next? Um, I thought it was a good show, though. I mean, I would say it's a good show, but it, it don't make me want to play the game. Okay. I don't know if that. I, I don't know if that played. hurts it or not. I mean. I haven't played games in a minute, so it's not. It's I don't think I, I'm. I'm never gonna get that urge again. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't get that like a a mark against okay. it personally. Me personally, mm-hmm. I would say watch it. Okay, I would say if you like that kind of like end of the world restart apocalyptic kind of thing, mm-hmm. 
Hey, I seen one report. I said, what I did see, I wanted to talk to you about is they say your boy could be the next Jonathan Majors. I heard that. That he has like that that yeah. look. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I thought I heard it was Jonathan Majors when I saw the pre- yeah, <laughs> I was um, like, my man's he, in this? He's getting a lot of, uh, he get, he's getting a decent <laughs> amount of buzz. Damn, but they found a new Jonathan Majors. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't Hollywood go that far. Y'all niggas is. I wouldn't go that far, but he does have potential. I give him that. Because with Jonathan Majors, he did like a, he did a, a certain amount of things to get to where he was at. That wasn't and even a year. They already That's what I'm replaced no, I'm, this thing. It's, it's, something, it's something about him, though. It's something about him because I immediately Shit. noticed it. I was like, I'm getting a vibe off this dude because I wasn't sure if I liked him or not because the, the way he sounds on the show is how he sounded in real life. And I watched a couple of interviews. I'm like, this is how this nigga talk. I'm like, that's very like non intimidating. It's just, it's just weird, you know what I'm saying? Nah, but at the same crazy. time, seeing how he talk in real life and seeing the character that he played, I'm like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Now I, I get the vibe because he's he's able to capture that character that he was supposed to play. He did a good job. So I'm hey, like, okay, pocket, bro. okay. <laughs> They would already found another J. I don't want to. I don't want to say they found him because, like I said, I, I will give that this man. Is shady, bro. They right. said, "Do not hit a white woman." Boy, I will, I will give him. Out of here! I got to give him a, him a few here. more. What? <laughs> I got to give him a few more projects before he can get that title. But <laughs> I only heard. Would that would Beyonce say? I can have another you. And a, <laughs> <laughs> got him out of here. No, nah, for real. That's, that's how not, I be. It's definitely not at that caliber. Because John the Majors came on. I was it was nothing about him that I did not like. This dude had to like, I was like, something is not right. But like I said, after I watched the real life interview, I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Because yeah. this is how he is. But um let's give yeah. our final ratings. Um you can go first though. I'll let you go first. As of now, overall with the season, I give it a, I give it an eight. I give it a real deal. Damn, I am man. right there with you. I give it an eight. I'm gonna go ahead and give it the real deal as well, um, only because, like I said, this is not a complete. I mean, the season is over, but the story isn't over, and and, and execution is a big deal. So as of right now, it wasn't perfect, but it was very good. So I'll give it, like I said, the real deal. I'm right there with you. So keep it up, uh, Fallout people. You know what I'm saying? I think the creator came out and said something about it's it's gonna fall in line with the the video game. So don't be discouraged, even though we don't watch the game or we don't play the game. Watching it next week, me and I are gonna have our Fallout segment. Watch. <laughs> yeah, <fuck this>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. We'll they gonna see. do go play it. <laughs> <laughs> right. They ain't about yeah. to watch it. No. They ain't got eight hours. We're gonna sit there. Com- <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna be complaining can, the whole time. I already confessed that he don't. <laughs> <laughs> Character <laughs> development. Oh man. Yeah, for it. <laughs> is there is there a TV show that you fuck with? Oh man. Yeah. Oh man. Let me guess. I'll power. No, no. I did. I don't like power. <laughs> Office. I, I mentioned this last week though. Like Stranger Things. I, I was oh, I was a wow. big fan of Stranger Things. Like, okay. I was surprised that I, you kept up. Yeah, I got I, when I got on. It was um, last season, so I was able to binge watch all the seasons, and I'm just I'm locked in, and I'm like, no, this is pretty good. That's why I said I appreciated okay. the CGI and the effects they use and okay. the storyline. I kept up with it. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. and I, I it, man, I don't keep up with a lot of stuff either, man. That's what's but up. if it if it catches me, I'm 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 locked I in. Think I'm more of a comedy TV show like The Office and like um, Big Bang Theory. That's Big Bang smart. Theory wasn't funny to me. I, I just thought that shit was hilarious. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. I thought that shit was fucking good. Now, The Office, hilarious. Yeah. yeah. Martin. Oh, you know what I like? Uh, I just got put on uh, Abbott Elementary. Uh, which yeah, is kind of like that. the same. Like, like cool. a doc, that documentary type. Oh, it's hilarious. Yeah, I'll be watching It's hilarious. It. They got Parks and Rec. is hella funny, too. Oh, Everybody hates man, Chris. I Parks and Rex is hilarious. I love bro. Parks and Rex. Bro, that little Sebastian episode, bro. Oh, Parks and Rex is probably the best as far as comedy for me. Bro, Nick Swanson? Yeah. That's my, oh, that's my what, was, uh, Duke, what was dude's name? Duke something? Duke Silver. Duke Silver. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was one of my favorite episodes. That, that's yeah, my, uh, my my gamer tag. Duke Bro, Silver. Yeah. That one episode with Andy Samberg. Yeah. Like he could, he could he yelling the whole time. <laughs> Parks and Rex is the shit. Yeah. All yeah, right. Nice. Before we get into um, Stax's 420 special, I wanted to... Uh, 
do our subscriber question of the week. And this is coming from my man. Let me see. Hey, Let me pull yeah. it up. Let me pull it up. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out Julio. My man, St. July. Uh, Shout out. Put up from Instagram. Then he pulled up to the YouTube. Appreciate you, big dog. This uh, episode is dedicated to you. But he wanted to know if we can play one retro game console for the rest of our life. In three games, what council would it be? Mm, nice question. I like that one. I like it. I, I like, like it a one. lot. I want to go first. Go. I, you go ahead. I'll yeah. go first. Fuck it. Go ahead. So I'm going to go. And when I say, when we say retro, um, I'm going to go ahead and assume this is before PlayStation 1 and before Xbox. So we're going, we're not. Diving into PlayStation or Xbox, we're going before, before PlayStation One. It's retro, oh, okay. yeah. So I'm gonna go <laughs> Sega Genesis, bro. I should have went first, bro. Yeah, I should have went first. Battle Sega Genesis, Battle Toads, Streets of Rage, and Toe Jam and Earl. Okay, those are my three games that I could constantly play and be. Perfectly fine, especially Battle Toads. That was my shit. So Sega Genesis for me. For me, it's Sega. I put Sega Genesis or Dreamcast because when Dreamcast came out, they made games that you could play from Sega Genesis on the Dreamcast. Mm-hmm. So I said Sega Genesis or Dreamcast, and my three would be Sonic off the rip. If you had Sega Genesis, Sonic stayed in the fucking console. Like, mm, facts. Majority of the time, I don't care what you. Is. is there a particular Sonic? Like, <laughs> it don't even matter. All, any, it don't even matter. anyone that was on the say anyone that was on the Genesis. There you go. My next one is Vector Man. I, don't, I bet you don't nobody remember. Yeah, for sure, Vector. Vector you remember man. Vector Man? Yeah. 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 So he basically like the Michelin Man, but he was made out of like green balls. Yeah. Okay. His name he's Vector Man though. Yeah, Vector I man. That. I don't remember that one. Oh, that game, that game yeah, was like, crazy. And then, like I said, depending on the system, Dreamcast or Gen- or Sega, I mean or Genesis, Road Rash or Ready to Rumble. Oh, Road Rash, Ready to oh, Rumble. Shit. Roll Rash, Rash was my bro. Roll Rash was, my, bro. Rash 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 was funny. The fact that you could pull up on a motorcycle and just start beating somebody <laughs> with a chain or a pipe, <laughs> but so I don't know why that was so addicted and fun. <laughs> but Roll Rash was the that shit. That was tight. Boy. That was tight. All right. So since we going before, because obviously I was going to say Nintendo sixty four. But since we going before PS one, um, I'm gonna go with the first Nintendo. And I'm going to go Street Fighter 2, the Power Rangers game, and Tetris. I used to play them games. All you them. said Tetris. Tetris. <laughs> Tetris go crazy, bro. Y'all are sleeping on Tetris, bro. I love Tetris as a phone game. Definitely, yeah. had, definitely had Tetris on Sega phones. Genesis. I know, I know. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got bro, you. Bro, Power Rangers cool. used to go Power Rangers was for crazy, sure. The movie or just the The, the game and the movie. Yeah, okay. Ivan Ooze, bro. That boy was selling the, the movie had a game. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then Street Fighters 2. That was... That's, I mean... Yeah. Fun, fun. That's legendary. For sure. All right. I like it. I like it. But... I'll go ahead, my man. No, go ahead. Honorable mention, Nintendo 64. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I ran, I ran 64 to the ground. Yeah. I ran 64 seven, to the ground. All the fucking... Um, all the Mario games fucking... Yeah. Uh, Mario Kart yeah, Mario shit. Kart was probably The craziest Yeah, yeah for sure. I mean one thing about me Is I'm, I'm super indecisive I was gonna say Genesis 2 But everybody Said it too uh, But I mean Genesis for me Sonic 2 Specifically That's why I asked you guys Sonic 2 Because that's the only one I was able to beat mm-hmm. uh, Multiple times So I Fast. Like, That one But then if I can mix it up Man Besides that one I also played uh, the, the Madden at that time I was always calling uh, the Fake punt and I would just pass out of that. <laughs> that was that was my go to. You know guy. what I mean? And then after that we we ran N sixty four to the ground. I'm yeah. talking about from the wrestling games to Madden to Rush. We well, played that Rush that Rush. Oh man. Oh, boy, come on, man. Boy, I was the man that, at that. That red vest. Come on, that man. Boy, I was saying was come cold. On. Come on, man. That I, bro, that boy was cold, bro. I, I I ain't never seen the car go so fast, bro. <laughs> you know, you go crazy. you go over to somebody's house, you want to water him, but like, you want you wanna play the game? You wanna get on this rush? 
Bruh, he was like a trap. <laughs> Not like, that controller, this one. <laughs> That's that my boy, shit. I would, yeah, bro. I, I fuck with It really rush. used to be serious like that. What? Like, no, 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 no. You can, you can use that control. Yeah, yeah. Use that one. That's the one that came with it. I just, yeah. I just bought that one. That's funny. <laughs> PS One was classic too. Oh yeah, yeah. after bro, hey, you know what's hella funny, bro? It goes to show you like. Boot like how how much black people loved bootleg shit. Oh, like my dad, I don't know how he found out how to do it, but he got a chip put in the PlayStation One mm-hmm. that allowed him to play burnt video games. Same, oh, we, we did yeah. that with Dreamcast. Yes, Dreamcast was one of those ones we was we did it with. It it would play this weird ass bootleg commercial in front of like this, this yep. camel or something like that would pop up. And after a minute, that shit just start. Yep. Like we yep. get to go. Yep. They yep. got to the find a way. Yeah, yep. that was crazy. My first bootleg game was on Dreamcast. And we we turned up from there. But well, I remember when I first found out you can do that. I was first of all because this is before like computers and all that shit. You know, you could you. Fucking do anything nowadays, but right. back then when you find out you could mess with technology and make it do shit, it's nigga. the future. What? <laughs> no. what bootleg game was the shit? The shit is just like a fucking blank CD with some writing. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> but what was crazy was we had to. I felt like we had to put one disc in at first and then put the second disc in mm-hmm. after. I remember that. that. Was, oh, that's super I remember cool. that. I remember that. that. So we had to, we had to um we had, had to set itself up for it to play that that, mm-hmm. that particular bootleg game, bro. Niggas is incredible, bro. Yeah, niggas is incredible. It's just the hood, bro. That's the end of the day. Growing up in the hood, white y'all see y'all don't know nothing about that. All these rich kids, bro. You know that's why you know somebody said that you don't see the CD and movie man like that no more. No, nah, nah, it's see streaming. It. I mean, yeah, it's all streaming. online. Everybody got a phone. Everybody yeah. can fucking Google a movie. But I just know you can never go to the gas station. Hey, my brother. Yeah, got Walmart, that new album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking barbershop. Yeah. You name bro, it. I had a whole book. Oh, uh, CD! Come on, man! <laughs> a whole book. Hey, don't bro. get me started. You know I was a CD man in yeah, high school. Yeah, you I already had know. It, had a lit three dollar CDs. Come on, man! Three dollar and all that. Burn the shit. I remember. I remember like vaguely when, when we first met for sure. Yeah. Cause they had all the CDs, yep. bro. Yep. All right. Well, shout out Julio. Appreciate you shout for that out segment, Julio. man. Uh, this is dedicated to you, big dog. Appreciate you. Um, what is Julio in, in, in English? What's your bro? <laughs> Is that Julian? I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I had to ask. What's blood, You got to you huh? ask your partner. My coworker. Yeah. So he laughing because we talked about this. You might have to clip it, bro, because we might have talked I about it. we talked about it on the... It might, have been, it might have been It might be recorded But so man, I got a coworker and we was chopping it up. He's Hispanic. And his name is Lavorio. And so I like, you know, typically... A Spanish name translates to something in English, like my name. My name is Gerald, but in Spanish, it's Geraldo. Mm-hmm. So, but like, so I'm always, I'm always curious, like, you know, well, what does your name mean? And he started, la- he started laughing. I'm like, bro, why are you laughing? He was like, because if I tell you, you're not gonna believe me. I'm like, no, nah, I believe. You. He said, it mean Leroy. And I'm like, bro, your <laughs> name is the craziest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. Bro. I'm like, bro, your name is blacker than mine, bro. I'm like, what, Leroy? I'm like, bro. I'm never. I, I ever since then, I only, I only call him Leroy. Bro, I've been that- shouting Leroy across to you. I'm like, hey, Leroy. No, that's really his name. No, no, I believe you, but I hope he's trying to like play you out. Like I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell him the most ridiculous name ever. But that's funny. That's really his name. I believe you. That's crazy. That's That's hilarious. That's funny. How you say the name one more time? Lavardi, Lavardio, Lavardio, Lavardio. And he said it mean Leroy. I thought it'd have been like Lavernius or something like that. Lavernius is wild. (laughs) Lavernius is crazy. I used to know a dude named Courtneyus. To Courtneyus? Yeah, we should call him TC. Is that Courtneyus? To Courtneyus. To Courtneyus. That's crazy. Yeah, that's way too hard to say. TC. <laughs> Shout out. Man, you guys be surprised about some of these football players' real names. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. I mean, they got Ken Peel clips just for that. <laughs> that's absolutely They got hilarious. this shit on, on, on social media, too, where like somebody are smacking into like a tree or something, and they'll be like, Tree Tom, Tree Thomas, Tree yeah, Thomas backyard that shit, again. Yeah, that shit is true. That shit is actually trending. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Uh, this is a a special episode because this is a, the 420 episode. 
And my man Stax came through with the 420 gear sneakers, the blow up blunt, as you can see. Come yeah. on, man. Have you been uh, watching the entire episode? I'm pretty sure you've been wondering why they got this sneaker collection. <laughs> we have said nothing about it. <laughs> we just yeah. put it there. There are a bunch this of is, this 420 is. sneakers in front of us. <laughs> this is the part for you. Holla at them, Stax. What you got? It's my time to shine. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. You know they, they all four twenty related, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. But uh, nah, uh, you know this guy over here, Mister Himothy, uh, get a close up for y'all. But we got the tallies from uh, South Park and Adidas collaboration. They're pretty tight because they actually like made out of towel material. Mm -hmm. That's hella. They clean. got his eyes on there too, right? Yeah, and the yeah. eyes they color they like change in the. The uh, with the sun, they color change That's UV, cold. so they making look like he day. Like right. right. yeah, 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 they pretty tight, they and they actually got um stash <laughs> pockets. <laughs> Most of all these shoes actually got like stash pockets, but the tallies got them on the inside. You can actually feel like a whole joint up in there. So damn, it's pretty cool. For sure. <laughs> Next to them, iconic skunk dunks. Everybody know about the skunk dunks. Label Absolutely. numbered one through. For one through four twenty, that happens to be number one. Interesting story behind them. We still on the fence to see if we can, like you know, verify it. I guess. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, as of now, they seem to be. They seem yeah. legit. You know, we don't trust StockX though, so we gonna see. Yeah. Um. Then next to them, um, a lot of people probably don't know, but uh, I got put the Grateful Dead's out there because four twenty became really popular from. At, at a Grateful Dead concert. Oh, okay. And so a high time, that. High Times reporter was at a Grateful Dead concert, and that's how he found out about the 420 event. Okay. So the Grateful Dead that's plays tight. a lot into 420. That's why I brought them because a lot of people are probably like, "Well, that's not a 420 shoe." Grateful but Dead and, being a rock group. Yeah. yeah. And but actually, it, it it plays a lot with the whole 420. On top of the table right here, we got the Maui's. Um, which are pretty cool because just like the uh, some of the other ones, they got a reveal underneath. So if you take off the floral pattern, there's another pattern, a completely different pattern okay. under the shoe. I love when they do that. I love when they do that with shoes because yeah. it make you not want. It's like damn, I want to touch them, but then I don't want to touch yeah. them. Like, like SBs, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so usually with skateboarding, if you do like any type of tricks, your shoe gets scraped a lot. So if, if the shoe gets scraped off and it's a pattern underneath. Then that make it so like that'd be clean. You feel yeah, yeah, nice shoe. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then uh, to the right, well, yo, my right, yo, left. We got the strawberry coughs, which was like one of the was so hard, one of the hardest shoes to almost get. So shout out my partner Josh for letting me borrow some of his kicks for this. Shout out. Um, them strawberry coughs, man. Them is nasty. Completely yeah. a statement. If you put them on, you turn the heads like off the rip. Like it's just look at the shoes. Those just, is fire. Hella clean. And then in the middle, the iconic Cheech and Chongs, man. Like, and those actually have a reveal on the toe box. You can remove it and make it look. It's basically like weed underneath it. But if you see, I'll send you some of the screenshots. But if you do it a certain way, the um, and like you can actually burn the edges on the white part and then make it look like a burnt joint. Oh, nice! And you can actually tight. see the tree underneath. Oh, and the tight. funny that in the story—that's the story I always talk about. The shoes that I walked into a store and they didn't know what they had because I walked in. There's a store used to be called Pure in um, like downtown Oakland, and I was just walking in there to go get a shirt. We was going somewhere, and I seen them. I'm thinking they just displaying them. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking they just like oh they just showing you know we got these or whatever. But I seen the price tag on. I'm like, no y'all selling these? He's like, yeah. I'm like. 125 I'm like They for it. Like yeah I'll, I'll buy these mm -hmm. Like you know Trying to play it cool And then I after I, And then after I bought them I'm like Do you know What you just sold me And how much you sold them To me for He was like No what? I'm like bro These are My these are the yeah. Cheech and Chong ass bees Bro like Then you You look them up right now They're for surely They're going for a grip yeah. And I paid 120 for Retail basically After they came out On top of that So it's like Come on now, like I that's still one of my favorite my sure. favorite shoes that I got in my collection to this day. Like 
Fire. You that know what crazy. I mean? And then, like, a lot of people don't know, like, bro, like, you know, 420 started in the Bay, like, for some fucking high school kids. Yep. I didn't know that. Yep, Marin County. Okay. So they, they called themselves the Waldos. And one of the one of the friend's brothers, he thought he was going to get in trouble for, he had a small patch. He was growing some tree in the woods. <clears throat> and he thought he was going to get in trouble for it. So he told them, he drew him a map and was like, y'all go find it. And so they met up at 420 on 420 mm. and went to go look for it. And they never found it. And because they never found it, they always just kept up that smoking ritual of smoking on four smoking Legend. on four twenty. Legend yeah, so. has it. They still looking for it. <laughs> hey, no, for real. They never they never found it. But it's funny because there is actual like newspaper articles and like military records of these kids like mm -hmm. doing this shit. And it just it stuck to it. I needed to know that. Which yeah, I think is I which I think is pretty tight, and then, like I said, that boy got knowledge, dude. Yeah, well, yeah I mean, you know, you gotta know what you. you gotta, I did a little research because I mean, hey man, four twenty special, baby. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And like, like I said, with the Grateful Dead's, a High Times reporter was at a show and somebody was passing around a flyer, mm. but there's no. There's no they they had the the creator of the flyer is still unknown to this day. Nobody has came forward and said, "Oh, that was us." But those kids from that high school, they made they coined the phrase for twenty. Okay, and then somebody else took it. It could have been them, and they just never, right? You know what Shout I'm saying? Never them, admitted man. to it. But I thought it was pretty tight. And then I mean, I got the it's a hat down there. It's Huff, and I got the socks on. R. P. Keith Keith Huff Angle. You know what I'm saying? That guy. Definitely right, changed man. the skateboarding world and like sure. being somebody from that. From he came from NY, and then he settled down in SF to become a professional skateboarder. And I just feel probably feel like that Bay culture is what really like sparked his like you know creative idea for culture. And then like, bro, who don't love some tree? So it's like he was like one of the first people to really like print shit like that was like on streetwear that had the weed leaves like okay. you know what i'm saying yeah. like yeah so super taboo back I then i just seen some huff shit today uh, like uh, i'm i'm excited hence the, that's where if you see the green buddy and the purple buddy down there those were dropped from huff before he passed i want to say the purple one might have came after i think but the green one was for surely before he passed so i'm kind of excited to see what they're going to drop this year on 420 i typically get something each year from they for a twenty drop. Okay. So I'm I don't know they ha they haven't said nothing or like gave a mock of what they might drop this year. So I mean, definitely excited about that. Um, I def I'm gonna be in Vegas this year for four twenty. So it's gonna be it's gonna be my first time being somewhere else other than the Bay for four twenty. So it's gonna be make sure you take the trees with you, man. Because oh my god, <laughs> Vegas ain't got yeah. it. And they, 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 they got it, but it's they, brown. It's so dry, bro. It's even brown and it's $75. Even at the clubs, Do bro. not. Don't mess with the clubs. The clubs. <laughs> You're going to be all through the strip. When I say, show me the top shelf, they're going to hand you a glass full of brown shit. Brown? <laughs> I'm telling brown. you. Brown. Bro, bro hey, when, I, when I went to Vegas and I, I just happened to pass by, let me just see what's in there. You know what I'm saying? I looked in there. Everything looked the same. Like it was All like this strain, that strain. Everything bro, was brown. It's almost like <laughs> that's we just gonna put a different sticker on it and tell you this is the top uh, top okay. shelf, but it's the same as the, right. the, the the ten dollar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was really like it's bad. Brown. It's bad. It yeah. was nothing green in there. Yeah. I even went to some shit called Midman's. They got one out here on um San Pablo. Yeah. But bro, trash, bro. It's like yeah. it's nothing compared to the one on no. San Pablo. Yeah, no, no. the one on San Pablo's. Yeah, that, good because yeah, it's out here. Yeah, like, yeah, they gotta get the weed out there, and it's dry. It's like, but don't don't typically come from out here though. I don't know where they. Come I don't from. know where they. It, it, don't, it don't look like it. it. Doesn't come from here. More it likely they get that shit from L.A. Because when I say brown, it's legit brown. So I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask my because I have a cousin that lived down here. I'm gonna ask him like, what's the most. I guess popular club, and I'm just gonna go just to check it out. And depending yeah. just how to long see, just to see the 420 of it, because you know they usually be having little deals and stuff. So we'll I mean, see. Yeah, yeah, for let me know. Gigs. Let me know. For sure. Let gigs, me know go. the name of this place you go to. If it's good, yeah. I got and you. And bring right, some weed yeah, back so crazy. we can show the audience. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, nah. Yeah. But also Vegas bring like 
a jar for your weed too. Don't just keep it in like a bag because it's so fucking dry, bro. Yeah. I tell you that shit gonna be crazy, bro. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When I when I was out there and I did see it, it wasn't like an official club. It was, it was somewhere on Fre- uh, Fremont Street. <laughs> and it, oh wow, yeah, it was like Adam, a liquor store. Whole, you know what I'm saying? Do out the whole because last time I went, it's, it's good out there. It's legal now. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, the whole strip, oh. they just got disp- yeah. like little dispensaries yeah. throughout the whole strip. But it's not even a, 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 a enclosed area. It's like a booth. You just walk up. They got the shit just out. A booth with booth. Yeah, facts. No, nah, but when it's like when you go out there, it's like. The, the 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 shit that you, not saying that you would, but if if you'd go to a club and you see something for fifteen dollars, you go into Vegas. That shit's sixty. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And and you like what? But it's you still know what I'm saying? Brown. I go to Vegas. I don't I don't smoke. I go to Vegas. I'm just drinking and you know what I'm saying doing my thing. I, somebody else had it one time and I, I tapped it. But other than that, I'm like nah, because I, I did go to Weed Maps check it out just to see it. I'm like nah. <laughs> Cause certain you, brands like you'll the, be good. Just bring your yeah, own. Yeah yeah. 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 I just got. I don't even play with it. Yeah. All right. And I got. I do got a a, a pack. Well, I got a four twenty question. You could say. Okay. Let's hear right. it. Let's do it. it. Shouldn't be too hard because it's not <laughs> slim pickings. But <laughs> <laughs> what's y'all's go to stoner movie? Easy. A uh, mine is how high. Like I don't that movie till this day. Is because, like, when they pulled up to the like school, it was like, You got blunt, you got weak. But I've literally met some of my best friends, like, mm. that, it, like, damn, you got Swisher, I got Tree, like, <laughs> yep. you know what I'm saying? That like, was a, that was an iconic moment. <laughs> um, that ivory, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and go Pineapple Express because of the rewatchability and just. I I don't know how many times I watched that in the session, and each time I laughed just as hard. Dale didn't good job. Um, <laughs> it's just a fantastic movie, man. I think it's it's one of those <laughs> starter movies that's l- legit flawless. I would give it a, a easy ten out of ten. There's nothing that there's no parts of the movie where I want to skip past or I kind of like breeze over it. Every from the beginning to the end, of from them testing the weed, yeah, until yeah. Them <laughs> that movie leaving is that barn is absolutely yeah. crazy funny, and I I love it, man. <laughs> I love, yeah, I love that movie. The windshield, like I said, <laughs> bruh. I thought hurricane season was over. <laughs> Take this shit to the next <laughs> level, Holmes. <laughs> Who the fuck let you in here? <laughs> <laughs> fucking Kyle, man. <laughs> oh, God. You, said you, got, you got any? You got Kyle. any Perkins? No, it, you got any? You said Perkinson. You, you, like, you told him I got Perkinson. <laughs> I don't, no man, not, I don't got that man. Linger, man. Linger. He gets the snickle fritz. Yeah. He gets the fritz. And I, I'll have to say, we oh. rode probably about a good solid ten cross joints because of Pineapple Express, yeah. man. We had a pot of shout out Louie that would he would be like the the uh, the the cross joint specialist. That yeah. whenever you all will link up, he will roll a cross joint for uh, for everybody, and that, that shit would be lit. Shout out Louie. Yeah, you you, you, you got you gotta have a partner to light it. You can't light it by yourself. For real. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that 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 would be my go to. Pineapple Express for me, same oh, thing same. for the for the same reason, yeah. same thing, man. Yeah. The storyline, everything, man. It's one of those ones where you you watching it, you following it, and it's kind of like you almost cringing at certain parts. It's like, oh, man, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, you can keep up with it, and that's that's definitely like a tradition, almost. You yeah. know, get high and just turn on Pineapple Express 420. It's so it's so yeah. special. Facts. I'm yeah. gonna go with um half big because that's like the like when I first started getting high. That was like one of the first movies I seen that like really embraced niggas smoking and shit. It was like four niggas just like us. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Sitting around in their couch and when they go get snacks and all hell break loose. <laughs> Cause this nigga's too <laughs> high, bro. bro the, the scene <laughs> where they high. all was kids and they smoked for the first time and they walk into the corner store and all the candy and snacks was much bigger. Yeah. Like <laughs> that would probably was like the best depiction of the first time getting high that I ever seen put in the movie. Yeah, period, hands Facts. down. 
when Facts. they walked into that store and Bruh. all the candy was super sized. This nigga Dave Chappelle is just way too like when 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 it when the doctor told this nigga to go get the weed from downstairs, he was like, he he just- <laughs> 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 like I said, either I didn't do my shirt laundry or somebody down here having a party. And then the nigga brought the pound and nigga said, oh. <laughs> he, he, not not, he, did not, he did not know what to do, bro. He was like, "Wait, I can take this, <laughs> bro." That was. Remember the doctor gave he's like, "You go a little bit for your trouble." He started grabbing hell. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, it's, man. it's like that. It's like that. Certain hospitals be holding. You know, nah, what I'm it was it was when they had the whole backstory for the dog killer. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, bro. That is some yes, real high bro. shit. Like the whole backstory from like how his mom got breeded and all the way. To hey, yo, kill a kill, <laughs> kill a kill, B, <laughs> kill a kill. Oh man, that nigga oh, said, man. "Me be from Jamaica, man." <laughs> said, "We're from in Jamaica, right near the beach." <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, bro! Dave Chappelle is solid so picks. So funny, bro. solid picks, definitely. <laughs> Half baked, how high? Pineapple Express, bro. I don't even mention just because of Pineapple Express, your highness, bro. Yeah, that's that's believe it or not, that is heavily slept on. So if you haven't seen your highness, please do yourself a favor and check that movie out. Uh, also, the goats. You mentioned it. You got the shoes, cheese and chongs. They were like the first. Oh, yeah, for sure. The first thing. They not slept on at all. Yeah. Can't forget definitely. about Friday. Yeah. Friday, oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah, for Classic. sure. Facts, facts. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you bringing the shoes through. You know what I mean? Yeah. You held it down for the special. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I try down. when I can. You know what I'm saying? Pete, appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right, before I get too late, um, Big Dog. Yeah, you nigga. Do this. What are we looking like over there? Yeah. Are we good? We at one twelve. All right. Well, yeah. Hurry up. All right. All right. All right. Uh-huh. Nah, uh-huh. it's not. It's not caddy. Cause okay. I, I already. I I knew Stack said he gonna have a question. It's gonna take a minute. So this is gonna be simple. Would you rather have telekinesis or be a telepath? So basically, telepath means you can read minds. Telekinesis is you can move shit with your mind. Oh, telekinesis. Telekinesis. I don't care what you're thinking. Yeah. I could probably tell what you're thinking anyway. over here. <laughs> I can read minds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. That, he he going to use that solely for like, <laughs> he used to be in the clip. Oh, she's feeling me perfect. <laughs> um, Shit, I'm turning the light green when I'm driving. This <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Splitting traffic. All right, I'm gonna have to go telekinesis then. That's true because that's like having a force. So yeah, I think I, I so I'll move shit. Yeah, move, move shit with your mind basically. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that because like I said, you can't really do too much. Can you imagine mind. not having to get up to swat a fly? No, more. come on, man. Even for the remote, you have yeah. me at the remote. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool. You, the <laughs> you feel me? That's, hey, that's no, all I need. Yeah, so bro. serious. <laughs> bro. I don't, that's neither remote, but yeah. Would you, easy, would, yeah. You, would you use your telekinesis to wipe your ass? Yep. Niggas would not have arms no more. Niggas would evolve into <laughs> my arm be hella skinny <laughs> for real. Hey, how's your arms, Bryce? <laughs> and use them. <laughs> go to the gym. Go to the gym. See, see, you see a gym crush put on four plates. Oh uh, yeah, um, just staring at the bar. Just go. I, I damn near into, into the strongman contest and be like viral off that. Niggas gonna test my blood. Like you on steroids? Like nope. Oops. Not steroids. Yeah. <laughs> and also, the thing about telekinesis is like, all right, you can read niggas' mind, but nigga could just deny it. Like, I'm not thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but even still, you can't even like say if you go to the bank. That's it's not gonna help you. Yeah, gonna get help no you. money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can know the combination, but you're still gonna have to rob that motherfucker. Like, right? it could be saying? a nigga like like Chris Angel or somebody could really be like reading niggas' minds, and niggas still be like, nah, he not. That's fake. Right. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, definitely you'll be able to move shit with my cause I niggas finessing nigga. Yeah, it's bad. Finessing. I'll be saucy. 
Yeah, I have a drawer full can of cash. Can you imagine going to the strip club? All in one, sliding right back to my pocket. Like a vacuum. <laughs> shit, you throw that shit in <laughs> your pants leg. I'm like, I'm like, your pants look bigger than you. You making it rain. That shit is... I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At, at one point, I'm going to be so saucy. I'm like, it's no hand movements, bro. It's all in the mind, bro. I'm like, mother just... I'm going to actually go there to collect. That would be one place to go just to, just to pick shit up. You'll be straight. That would be, <laughs> be straight. like anime. You read your mind. You fool! You brought that to my house. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, bro. Don't leave nothing laying around because that shit will start walking away from you. <laughs> Whatever it is, but it's, right. gonna, it's gonna turn on you when you sitting there. You put something on and, and be like, somebody in the head. I don't like that shit. You don't like it, <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh my! She looks stupid. Like, what, you, what? What you mean? What you mean? Uh, huh? No, 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 never mind. <laughs> All right, all, right. And shit. all right, the second you, one you, 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 We're unanimous with that one yep. Yeah Second one is Would you rather be able to see 10 minutes into the future Or 30 years into the future? Thirty years? For sure 10 minutes ain't nothing That's why niggas it walking up out of here <laughs> <laughs> But if you can you can, But if you can see 30 Wait, so Between you can only jump 30 years. You can't see what happened in between the 30 years. Yeah. That what you're saying? Yeah. Mm. Okay, wait. You mean the 10? Like, I can just keep do. I can keep using this power, right? Yeah. So, you, you seen that movie Next with Nicolas Cage? Mm-mm. So, basically, he could see two minutes into the future. So, he could... Pre- so, in the movie, he was just predicting, like... Th- basically, the nigga could never die because the nigga was like... But that's why I'm saying you, I, you could use that to bubble because if you... So... Like my question, like Bryce is, can you see everything up until that ten minutes, or is it just you just know what's gonna happen within the like? You just know what's gonna happen. You gotta remember, like, all right. Okay, well then, yeah, I would give me the ten minutes. I'll go to the casino, and run it up, because I yeah, know what the I, de- I know what the dealer's gonna have every hand. If you can't see what happens within the thirty years, then but if you got brain's gonna memory, explode, how you gonna remember all that? Yeah, exactly. Uh, you yeah, have to have yeah. a great memory because it's like. But you can remember ten. I can remember shit that happened in ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, 30 years is hella far. Yeah, so, yeah, I 10. guess I'll go 10 minutes to this. I'm about yeah. to, casinos going to hate me. Man. Yeah, I'm going to go 10 minutes. It's like even last week when I related everything to sports betting, same yeah. thing. I'm going 10 minutes ahead. Let me see who. I'm a, the horse races? Whew, what? It's bad. What, who it's hit the game winning shot? Who won the game? What you doing? It's what? bad. Live betting? Come yeah, on, man. Yeah, whatever your memory just cut off because the world going to end or something. You know that shit for 30 years, nigga? <laughs> I've been sitting on this. <laughs> you gonna be that crazy nigga sitting on the ground? None of this matters. <laughs> <laughs> why are you so upset? You wanna know why I'm upset? <laughs> oh my god! You gonna, this be able, you gonna be able to burn me with the oh, shit. You gonna be able to with the pan? Oh nah. <laughs> That's hella funny. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga just hella mad, bro. Like, bro, 2054 is going down. 2054, that's dumb you. ass long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nigga shit. Be high for no reason. That's man. so long. That's so long from now. That's hella funny. Nah. Yeah. yeah right. I'm going to go the same thing. 10 minutes for All sure. All right. 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. Unless you did like Back to the Future and you got one of those sports almanacs. You know what I'm saying And they tell you everything For the last 30 years And you just start predicting yeah. I mean if you was an OG You feel me 30 years You feel me You can start planning To get all your shit together For Bitcoin and shit Yeah but we passed it I know but it might be another one. Oh yeah know. got you Got you Got you yeah. If you do um, enough research In 30 years You can see what's prevalent yeah. At the time And you can be like Alright I'm gonna get on this Yeah get on this, this Yeah Making your shit Like the, you know this, this, You this, get this. dumb rich If you can see 30 years Into the future but yeah. ten minutes, it's like you realize cheese is surging, so you better go start be hustling at the crackers. Store. You know what I'm at saying? Store doing hella scratch offs. <laughs> be like, nah, I want that one. Give me <laughs> <laughs> Let me get twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> but seeing thirty years is basically saying that you're gonna be able to live that long too, because you could be dead. True. I mean, but if you can see, you know you're gonna be alive. No, nah, can... nah, no. So, so what if? So what if you go to? Hit that to see that first 30 and your shit don't go past 15 because you die. 
No, no, wait, no, no. Up. So <laughs> what, what, what happened is you gonna see that thirty, but you ain't gonna be there. You are gonna be witnessing it like a, a bird's eye view. Like, oh, that's my house. Where am I? At? You know, what you gonna see, you gonna see, you gonna see the next bandingo piping your lady now. Basically, oh yeah, yeah give me the ten minutes. Yeah, facts. Yeah. If 30, 30 years requires more homework, you might have to go to, <laughs> might have to, go to my grave site. What year did I die? Like, damn, I only had six years anyways. <laughs> going to your own grave site is crazy, bro. Oh, no. What That'd happened? Be crazy. Then you'll be in a newspaper like this. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I need that paper. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess I'll get my question out of here before we before we get out of here. But my it's a, it's a simple one this week. Um, what is everybody's go to show or movie? Something that you consistently watch over and over again. Mm. Everybody got at least one. It's um, easy. Go for it. The sorry. Office. The Office. <laughs> faithfully, I faithfully. How many times? How many times do you think you watch that? The whole like the whole shit. Mm-hmm. Oh she! Anytime I see it come on, okay. I'm watching it. When they put it on Netflix, that was just stayed on repeat. Just okay. that's that was background noise. Like <laughs> yeah. it can be a show or a movie. Oh yeah, so, no, for me it's The Office. All right, for okay. surely. Um, I'm gonna do one show, one movie. I'm gonna go right now. Parks. I mean not Parks and Rec. Um, uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. I'll be watching that shit all the time. Um, and movie. The Batman, I seen that shit like eight times. Okay. <laughs> Repeat the question one more time for me. Make sure I get this, I get this right. A movie or a show that you watch consistently, like at least once a year, every two years, you watch this show or this movie. It doesn't get old to you. It's like it's almost like something that even like it's a go to when you're eating a meal. Like I'm about to right. eat this meal. I don't got nothing to watch. Let me just throw this on. I Matter mean, fact, instead of the Batman, I'm gonna go with Tropic Thunder. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right. Well, if we got throwing a movie out there, mine would be Step Brothers. Yeah. Okay. That's a good one. I think for me, when it comes to like eating and stuff like that, I think it comes in seasons because sometimes it depends on what series I'm watching or if we just into. Maybe we watch you meet the parents And we want to watch meet the fuckers The next time or something like that You know what I'm saying But if I had to pick something consistent To what I go to sleep to Man Even if I Even if I can't see with the glasses It's family guy Like I always put it on in the background And, and I, I've been doing that for years <laughs> yeah, You know right. what I'm saying family I've guy. seen every episode yeah, multiple facts, times facts. That's what I mean yeah. yeah So I definitely go to sleep to that That's That's, that's a staple All Yeah right. I can say that What about a movie? Consistent Oh man I can't think of one consistently Consistent movie Nah I'm not consistent With the movies man Cause sometimes okay. it's just Sometimes I sit there And it's like okay Alright this movie's two hours Alright You know what I mean I'm sitting through it So it's like Sometimes it has to be a movie That I actually haven't seen In a while That I can, I, that I can actually sit there and, and actually enjoy it You know what I mean But I can't yeah. just watch the same But the, 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 the series I can watch different episodes yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of like with that Family Guy had the most funny Would you rather bro The nigga said Would you rather be homeless Or would you rather be Hitler <laughs> stupid <laughs> so I think Quagmire Quagmire kept trying to make Hitler work Yeah I don't know. <laughs> Family Guy still getting new seasons right Oh uh, yeah. yeah Yeah Okay Okay. Oh, yeah well, actually, I can't even say I watch every episode now because they so they, they still dropping. Yeah, they still yeah. dropping. Um, but I'm gonna go the Lord of the Rings trilogy for movies. I I watch that at least once a year. The all three movies, the extended or the regular? extended. So it's that's nine so you hours. Watch- <laughs> 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 Nigga, if I can tell you how many times <laughs> somebody walk up on me, be like, "But you watch this again?" I'll be like, "Yeah." Bro, that shit like again. four hours long, bro. Three hours each movie, so it's nine hours all together. One of them like four hours, right? They all three. I swear one of them like four, bro. Uh, they all three. The commitment. Three hours. <laughs> That's, you gotta be committed. I for sure they passed out in the movie theater <laughs> watching one of them, boy. No, they, oh, they, they extended over, uh, maybe, they don't put it in the theaters, the extended cut. The movie's still hella long. They stay long, but the, the, the uh, director's cut is crazy. Like, there's so much shit they add in there. 
And for a series, I'll go. I watch Game of Thrones hella times, bro. I watch Game of Thrones hella times, and I watch Wilford hella times. So between Wilford and Game of Thrones, I don't know. Wilford? You ain't never seen Wilford? No, what's that? Well, it's a uh, Elijah Wood, the, the main nigga from Lord he of the Rings. He's a dog, right? He, no, he's not a dog. His, he got a dog. It's not his dog. It's his neighbor's dog. But he sees the dog as a person. And the dog, <laughs> the dog smoked hella weed. Or whatever, but the, that the, show is crazy. It's the, like the, Ted, it's, basically. You should. Everybody should take. If you feeling a little bit, you know, down in spirits, watch <laughs> Wilford because he is that friend that's gonna get you turned up, <laughs> and you think you don't need this, but you really do need this. At the end of every episode, they on the couch like this, smoking a bong, and just talking about what happened. And it's Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. That's in the crazy. beginning of the episode. He tried to kill himself, but oh, it didn't wow. work. That's, and so what dark. happens is, I think something <laughs> happened in his mind where his neighbor comes, this, this fine-ass girl that he, like, he been seeing, but when she's like, can you watch my dog real quick? And he looked behind her, and it's a, a grown man in a dog suit. Smoking <laughs> a blunt. But, like, he, like, he a, he a dog, so he do dog shit. But at the same time, it's a person, so he communicate with it like a person. It's so... Fucking funny. That show is and hella he funny. cannot get the jump on this nigga. Like, dude, wait, dude. Elijah Wood is the dog? No, no, no Elijah Wood is the one that <laughs> try to commit suicide. <laughs> uh-huh. The dude that's the dog is a, a European uh, comedian. Because mm. uh, I think he played the same character. Because I think it, just like The Office, it originated overseas. Okay, okay. But it was so funny that we did our own. And I think that same, he played the dog over there too. Oh, so okay. he came over here to play the dog again. And I have never seen this nigga anywhere else, but I gotta see what this, this nigga is so <laughs> funny, bro. That show is hella funny, it's bro. So, I watch it so many times, but it's hella good to watch when you like in a certain type of mood because, like, you know, what I'm saying work getting you down, whatever you have relationship problems, you throw on Wilfer, bro. It's so many episodes dedicated to you. Like, are you not feeling it today? This is what we about to do. You about to get into a fight. Like, wait, what? <laughs> like, it's so oh, crazy. Yeah. Okay. It's so good, bro. It's absolutely a 10 out of 10. Like I like I said, I put it up there with Game of Thrones because I watch it like almost damn near back to back. Because Game of Thrones will give me that dirty, gritty, realistic as well, as realistic as you can get as far as fantasy. But the Will forgot the comedy drama that's just so fucking good. No, like I said, they this is when I was heavy spoken too. And every episode they spoke in a bong. And it's crazy because the bong always got the dirty water. It's it's so clean, bro. Like it's it's very authentic, you know what I mean? But every episode they spoke in a bong that's, and it's that's like a detail only a a, a nigga who smoke would know. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It's so good and like a little gravy. And there's something going on. <laughs> a nigga have a bad day, and Wilfred be like, pull a blunt out of nowhere. And be like, just spark it up, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's like and nigga, just like you right. Fuck it. Like you know what I'm saying. But the whole the whole series is about him helping Wilfred is helping him get through his like depression. suicidal depression or yeah. whatever. But you know, but he does it in. Wilford's way So it might not seem Like he's trying to Fuck with you But at the end of the day He fuck with you It's like Tyler Durden In fucking dog Way form. worse Way worse than Tyler Way worse Wilford, Wilford, worse than Tyler Wilford, Wilford is a fucking dick <laughs> <laughs> You have no idea But everything he do Has um, A reason behind it And it's hella good Hella good I was hella sad When that shit ended But uh Alright man I like that man That was uh That was decent Everybody had pretty good, good good picks, bro. Still appreciate you for that 420 special, dog. You already you came know. through. You came through. Came through. J Dot. Hey man. Hey man. I see you, big dog. No, man, we here, man. Just having a good time, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, if you made it this far, please do us a favor. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and of course, hit that notification bell so you can be up to date when we drop shit. And of course, like I said last episode, when we get to 500, we will start going live and we will do a live raffle. We took a jump. We did. We took, we a, big took jump. a jump. We took a big jump. So we, all the new subscribers out there, appreciate you guys. Shout real out. Talk. Y'all, uh, y'all holding it down. And no pun intended. That's real talk. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, make sure y'all stay tuned. Um, 
We will be back next week. I might drop a review this weekend. It's a couple of movies dropping. I know that Rebel Moon 2 comes out on Friday and Abigail comes out on, well, tomorrow. Um, I don't even know when I'm going to drop this episode. Maybe Friday. We usually drop on Friday, but we're recording this on Wednesday. But we'll see. We'll see. It might drop on Saturday for 420. It just but, might. Hey, we could. We could. We can get the we can get an early jump or we can drop exactly on 420. I just got a feeling motherfuckers gonna be mad busy <laughs> on 420. Yep. Yo ass gonna be in, in Vegas and shit. Hippie Hill about to be lit for yeah. sure. No, it so is. did y'all hear it? So remember they it's not gonna be a they tried to say it's not gonna be a sanctioned event because remember the past two, three years. It's always been gated and they charge people coming in and they got vendors and shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be the first year where they're not doing that. I'm kind of excited because it goes back to the original. You're not going to be able to keep people out of out of that park. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, I feel like it's going to go back to the organic 420 Hippie Hill events. You know what I mean? I didn't really like the sanctioned one. It was kind of weak. Yeah. yeah, Hippie Hill is a big thing out here. Um, all the smokers gather together in honor of... Like Stack's story of an honor of the the gentleman who created it. Well, I'll say this: there's at least twenty to thirty hippie hill locations because motherfuckers will pick a spot. Come on, and turn the fuck up. Do I have to mention Leona Lodge? I'll, I'll, Do man, not I was just about give to me fucking about Stop playing with me, Leona Lodge. Come bro. on, man, about that, that too. But Leona Lodge is a is a is a YF staple. I don't know what YF is. We shot that short film. <laughs> huh? Come on, we shot man. a lot of shit. We did a lot. We did a lot of shit <laughs> hey, at uh, Leona Lodge. Yeah. Best believe. Um, but uh, yeah, we ain't gonna keep driving too much longer. Happy four twenty. Y'all go out, do y'all thing. Appreciate you guys for coming through. You know we are gonna keep it real with the real squad. We ain't gonna hold y'all. We up out of here. Peace. Peace. Tip your waiter. None of this matters.